10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gentlemen, Dimelang Banabakohai, Kirisan Bonani, Libitulaka Kipabal Lohware, and I will be this year's host of the annual Miss Heritage KZN. Miss Heritage KZN is about the youth celebrating and embracing their culture, and I can't think of a better way to wrap up Heritage Month other than celebrating with these young ladies who know who they are and are fully in touch with their roots. Now, this evening is going to be fully packed with entertainment and fun and joy. And the stars of the show, these young, beautiful, confident ladies who have walked with us on a three-month journey and have made it this far. But before we get into all the action, let's first hear a word from our sponsors who without them, this event wouldn't have been possible. Let's first hear from Mrs. Sandy Govansami, the executive head of the Vodacom Consumer Business Unit, KZN. Good morning, beautiful ladies who have made it to this uh, final round of Miss Heritage KZN. Uh, I really want to congratulate you and say well done on making it this far. Uh, my name is Sandy Govinsami. I'm the executive head of the Consumer Business Unit at Vodacom in KZN. And I wanted to just share a little bit about my story and about what we do here um, and connect with you. So um, I grew up here in, in KZN in a little uh, township on the south side of the, the province called Chatsworth um, and uh, in, in, in uh, very humble circumstances. So uh, I went to a government school and, uh, and high school and uh, tried my best to do well there 
um, and uh, was was able to was lucky enough through uh, my father's company who agreed to pay for my first year of studies to be able to study further and I think uh, for me uh, that that not knowing whether I could uh, be able to go to university or not uh, really cemented the the value of education in my own mind and you know that the and its ability to transform your life and you know transform a family and and the next generation and you know completely change your circumstances so for me it's super exciting to to see other young women who come from similar circumstances or um, actually use the opportunities in front of them and the platforms in front of them and the educational opportunities to take this further and to take their to uplift their families to uplift their own lives and it's it's really wonderful to see and as Vodacom it's also a, a, a really a huge cause of ours in terms of education um, it's so much so that we have a product called eSchool uh, which is our contribution to improving learning and education in South Africa. And it's 100% um, completely at no charge for any uh, student in South Africa who's on the Vodacom network to, uh, to be able to access eSchool. And what you get on there are tutorials, learning content, and even assessments to be able to test the knowledge that you gain during the tutorials on eSchool and the most fabulous part of it is that it's absolutely free to use if you're on the Vodacom network so you don't pay for any data charges and I think especially in this time of COVID when kids haven't been able to go to school as regularly as they should do it's so important that we keep a regular rhythm going we have um, we are attending school daily, even if it's e-school, and the content on there is all formatted to uh, to align with the curriculum of, of the of the schooling bodies. So, if you're completing e-school, it's it's very close to what you would be doing in terms of the knowledge you acquire in a classroom. And we're super super proud of this initiative, as well as that we're able to deliver it at no data cost to our customers. And uh, it, I think it's become super relevant and topical during this time of COVID. So I really urge that uh, anyone that is connected uh, to children and to learners, um, it also has university applications on there. Uh, some of the journeys are zero rated, like registering for your uh, university degree, um, accessing your My, My Student portal for the different universities. So it really is a full on end to end educational proposition and uh, uh, I urge everyone that has a child or knows of someone that's schooling or in university to um, visit eSchool and to look at the learning opportunities on there and the assessment opportunities on there. Even for someone or, um, that is attending school regularly or when we're able to go back, it really does supplement your learning quite nicely and helps you to be able to go to the next level. Um, and uh, so, um, Speaking about kids in school and university, I'll continue on with my journey from there, which I kind of broke out to tell you about something that I'm really excited about. But uh, from university, I ended up um, wanting to, to work in a marketing team, and there weren't that many opportunities in KZN. So I moved to Johannesburg, to the big city, uh, looking for a job, and I was lucky enough to fall into the world of telecommunications. And since then, I've never looked back. I will say as a woman that it has its unique challenges and I'm sure for you you ladies as well you found that the challenges you may face may be different to your male colleagues at school or at university and or the only advice that, that I would really like to uh, highlight to you is to persevere. I think you have to be in the race to make it to the, the next leg of it and at times even though uh, things may seem insurmountable or you may feel that challenges are unfair um, if you keep persevering you will overcome and you will um, attain your full potential and I think especially for for you ladies you've already come through so many levels of this competition so you really are the best of the best well done on all of your submissions and your entries and I think it's uh, it's great to see that you managed to maintain that tie to your culture while still um, you know trying to progress and, and 
uh, into this digital age that we we are at and i think as women we often struggle with you know not losing that those ties back to where we come from or feeling like we've changed or we've left things behind and uh, i think for for me as well uh, it's 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 okay to say that you know i have changed i have become someone different but i know where i came from and and uh, i'm proud of that so I'm incredibly proud of all of you for your heritage, the uniqueness that you bring and and uh, all of the talent that you've displayed up to now in this competition. Well done and good luck. Thank you, Sandy, for those amazing words of wisdom. Now, like I said, I did say we have some amazing entertainment coming your way tonight, so do keep watching. I'd like to introduce to you our first performer of the evening, the beautiful songstress, Lissandra. music forms a very special part in our culture and heritage. But I hope you don't think that's all we had packed for you. We still have a lot more entertainment coming your way, so do stay tuned. Now I'm sure you're wondering, where are the stars of this show? Where is the main event? It's finally time to meet our top 10, our future businesswomen and CEOs. Let's get a closer look at these beautiful young ladies and their journey thus far. I'm Sinetanta Shango, a 20 years old girl from Emangeli, and I strongly believe that I can win as Miss Heritage KZN as I've conquered by taking the first step and overcoming fear as it is a symptom of not being comfortable with who you are. Thank you. Greetings, South Africa. My name is Asana Mashao, I'm one of Miss Heritage 2021 contestant. I'm from Glasgow Natal, and Newcastle. The reason why I entered Miss Heritage 2021 is not to win only, but is to become a cultural ambassador for helping people and also discovering their culture because I believe there is no future without the past. Thank you. Greetings to everyone. I'm Nozle Tandolu Tuduma, one of Miss Heritage KZN 2021 contestants. I'm 17 years old and from Bazoo Natal at Kanta. I believe I'm the next Miss Heritage because I love my culture and I believe that if you know where you are from, you know where you're going. I'm dedicated to the well-being of my body, my mind and health. Thank you. 
Lento was in the pub where you come alive and put in the Wagamakan, only Niaga and Shun is Kumisa. Give a lay at an house, a baron. Pick a malam, no pali something. You come by also doing. Your color was in our own Moba, I believe that I could take a stand by and lead the new generation that is full of opportunities and hope and leadership. I believe that I could be Miss Heritage because I want to educate and empower my peers. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I believe that I'm the next Miss Heritage in 2021 because I'm the most intelligent, smart, and ambitious little girl in Ugo Wakeng Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alice Walwabe, a consistent from Miss Heritage KZN 2021. I believe I'm the next Miss KZN Heritage 2021 because I'm a horse in the red race. I'm a go-getter. I'm passionate. I'm ambitious. I go for the things I want. I always conquer. I'm where I am today because I always believe in myself. Sanmona ni ikama osindiswa ngwaga kama. Nkamuga eni kasel enda wenasa osijeni. Nkaba ngusi mzaba omis herite keres en. Ngoba everything I touch turns into gold. I mean, why in you go top 10 if young in the NIT doesn't turn into gold? Thank you. I come along with you all the way to Wagga Villazi, Opuma, and you can say, Nicola Longotin, Gomez Heritage, all and Delaya, because I, I believe that I can make change. Like, since there is high, um, um, there is high teenage pregnancy in South Africa, you all. My name is Happy Pamulu, one of the Miss Heritage KZN 2021 finalists. Why do I deserve to be Miss Heritage KZN 2021, 2021 finalists? Because I have worked so hard for this position. And I think I deserve to win it because I have put all my effort and dedication to it all and I have gotten this far. It's a pleasure to me. Thank you. The heart of our heritage lies in the heart of our beautiful country and the people in it. And even though we're in the middle of a pandemic, it's important to still remain innovative so you can produce amazing events such as these. Talent, focus, and determination is what has brought these young ladies to where we are today. Now, as we get closer to announcing who the top three are, why don't we let them show you what they've got, who they are, and why they deserve to be in the top three. <laughs> Fagela, Missy Cape, Wussy Fagela, Venuia, Missy Cape, 
Greetings to you all. 
My name is Happy Pamulungu, one of the Miss Heritage KZN 2021 finalists. I am going to recite a poem about humanity. Poverty. Our people are poor. They don't have anything. They don't have access to shelter, water, sanitation, and jobs. With this being said, it provokes our characters. Why did we change our culture? Ubuntu, Sebushone. In the good old times, we did not have people sleeping on the streets. We did not have street beggars. Any of this is caused by negligence. In the good old times of your forefathers, no one was allowed to sleep on the streets because he or she might be eaten by the lions of the jungle. Again, it's too late, Kangan. Ungasku kono kulega. Sia kulega. This was human behavior during the times when Africa was still a place to be called home. The arrival of the curse was interpreted as a blessing. My name is Habiba. I welcome you all to Africa in the name of Nzambi, Modimo, Imana, Karunga, Umvelimang to witness life human behavior and the culture. I welcome you all to Africa. My name is Habiba, the angel of humanity. Thank you. Talent, focus, and two panel of judges looking at these young ladies today, but I don't envy being in their position. <laughs> Why don't we let the judges introduce themselves? Judges, over to you. If you are joining us right now, you are tuned into Umis Heritage KZN 2021. And I'm Oh, so I'm the new member now. Oh, okay. yes, no, now. I'm not, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mbaling Ngobo. It's Mbaling Ngobo. It's Mbaling Ngobo. It's Mbaling Ngobo. Hey, Polo Ba. Oh, Mbushia Kulo. Mashia. Ah, Mashia. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to find out how the girls are doing and what they have in store for us. We're going to find out. Shala Kunala, Gumis Heritage KZN 2021. Spoiler going up about Azish. Thank you, judges. Now, remember what I said when we started the show? I said we got you when it comes to entertainment. So we have another little treat from the opening act, AIM Pro, while the judges deliberate and decide. And after AIM Pro's performance, the judges will be asking our contestants some questions about pressing issues in the countries that will help them decide who belongs in the top three.
Hi, I'm Diso. So your question for today is, in this present time, do you think heritage is as important as it was in the past and why? No, I don't think it is as important as it was in the past. In the past, we used to embrace our culture, um, but nowadays, some people can be Sawana so Sanda. Hi, sir. Uh, congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Okay, and the question is your daughter for when? Since drugs and high teenage pregnancy have been affecting the youth in the past years, what do you think can be implemented or to change the situation as per Nina much? I think what should be implemented is that our uh, children must get uh, more education because I think the reason why drugs uh, are so highly implemented is because um, there's lack of education and lack of education leads to the children doing the bad things that they shouldn't be doing and I think it's the background also the background also affects the children uh, because they are not ment mentoring themselves themselves in good ways so I believe uh, children can <coughs> leave drugs uh, by having a proper education and back and back in good background okay thank you thank you um, congratulations for making this far. Um, your question here I have for you for tonight, well, it brings it home. Um, women feel like they are still not acknowledged or recognized in important positions. What are your thoughts on this? Do you feel it has changed or not? And why? <laughs> Moba ain't Kundlene Ningi, Nase Kundlene Ningi, Avan Besfaz and Abaga Pat. Sang Sang Sapa Savan to Besleys. So Joe Mutuas Fazan, Natis Namalunga Luguti, see Pates, Natis Namalunga Luguti, see Bunagalis, Moba Natis capable of doing easy to aim cool. Nakore Avan Besfazan, Naman, success, Bassesanga Pans, Bassatun is the legacy. Nebo. As a young woman in South Africa, what do you think the future of this country is looking like and why? Iksasa lezwe espilaglona angilboni lili. Ngoba uhulumeni ospete agasipati Gogwem Komo, a Hambisana and a Masi, go got out Tata Ubezi, Ogabezi, Akube Gonas of Seven Salap Utata Imkomo, a Firayo, Agabambi Sen and the Holy Bendabuk. Thank you. Kamaka Kuna Sissis, they are currently sent to Sophie Legley Zinga. We are Pilabot. Okay, Umbuzo Akwanam Sanje Uti. In the present time, do you think heritage is as important as it was in the past, and why? That's a very good question. Um, heritage, obo ena baako, it contains ethic and morals. So, umuntu menga zazu gutu ubani, agukola nga yakoni, jenga dala, bengmelu zazu gutu ubani, usugabi. So when you fall, sir, on Jani. I know. Can I tell me? So when you look so fierce, you're losing your glory, man. Eh, fall, sir, don't lose your old dog, Pella. Eh, for when? Don't lose your mountain. I'm not just fazing, but feeling that I'm not man. I'm acknowledging. Or about recognizing my positions, I'm a cool. In Abangoya Kunga logo, forty. In Abangoti in Genzi or Woody, who pushing your log. I want this father and Abanese Wanga Matsuba, Alingana and our this lease. I want this father, but I've got a yellow pants and I want this lease of a yellow pistol. 
Congratulations for making it this far. So, what does self development and empowerment mean to you? Do I have to put it like, uh, as in self development and self empowerment are two different words? Do I have to answer it in different sections as in self development and self empowerment? Umbuzo una open to nanje gendle la wena or understand angayo uguti to you as a woman. What does it mean to self develop yourself as a woman, and how do you empower yourself as a woman? Kule sis katsa manje and at your age, currently. Okay. A self development. Uh, a self development ilabo. Uzama Oxinda, I'm a bad habit alcohol. And also, there are steps in improving yourself. Yes. And it's self empowerment as way you are taking a decision that will, influ that will influence your destiny, that will, um, that will determine where you will go, as in. Where you end up in the destiny, will you succeed or not? So I wanna send that. Yes. Come here, this is from here. Look here, we was able to figure a lovely top ten women's heritage cases in the 2021. Most of our women are here. We 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 are here. They just allow men to drown their inner voice. Hi, Alexis. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hi, Firstly, I'd like to congratulate you for making it this far. And your question for today, Iti, I'm a drug, a teenage pregnancy. I'm a drug, a teenage pregnancy. i South Africa. I'm a drug, a teenage pregnancy. I'm a drug, um so Got a scarce ruling stang and woody land laba, Babanga laugh, but then Babata to be so a go, black head is in Dow. Lapu Colabas with Lalacon, a betole abandu, Abazuba la Lela, woody bar, bar show is a king as up, causing a temp in a colo woody conny, denying about Mugisho, man is so so woody, why they go my grass. So betola about the Bazukuma Labo, they betum down clara, young girl to them. As for Abandu, Ingani lazy, easy. For a teenage pregnancy, can I, I think mele abazal be too um be be le uguti be be bumeli ngani in in like be be like be shuguti ma uzalana okay yege lo si yege be 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 umte tu uguti um ingani ma yege lo ma yege lo kamba ipsugu like who have a bio beam in being it is ganjalo and over in the country who may never get a little 
if um tana like we teenager or who made for Naya get Luguti um a colise in my linga because the Labanta is cut his name is to Luguti in an ending is Zala Jing over the Jahi in my year called Oliava to a crewman and who many Mara Pig in Yakala, Luguti Loza Lidem Gaganani. Ya Ufanel in which I told in Loma Leo Grant, Nalo Galeo, Zobana. Habiba, how are you today? I'm very well, and you? I'm good. Um, I would like to welcome you and just say congratulations for making this far. And your question for today is, what does self-development and empowerment mean to you? Thank you for the question. Self-development and empowerment means to me. I think it means that is to how you grow yourself towards what is happening around you. In Lela, in Zinto, as in Zagala, in Kutsuena, in Bugela Ganjani, Bese, in Faga Ganjani, Kwena, in Kulisengako, ne <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to introduce you to the amazing Singasho Zugula, our Miss Heritage KZN 2020. She's going to tell us about her journey last year and pass some words of wisdom to our queen to be. Sanbonan Makaragazi, a Okulumai was Singasho, a Kwasugula, Miss Heritage KZN. 2020. Uh, I would love to say, that I have to say that I have to say that I have to say that I have to to say that I have to say that I have as an individual, but So, good luck if Funda, a exams and activities in by over the com or it a post helping hand, maybe somehow, somehow one day, so Sangana now it's time to hand over to the judges who have had an incredibly difficult task, if I say so myself, because wow, the talent has been incredible. Judges, who are our Thank you very much, Papa Lon. Yeah, one again. In Bali, say Pumile, Ulunik, Usekondile. Number votes as a bali, you chain in the top three. Man just a funny chain of the number three or number two or number one. Kulo Miss Heritage KZN 2021 brought to you by Vodacom Next Level. Okay, drum rolls, please. <laughs> as in, you have a mock good time in bed. It was a very tough decision. Got to again. O number three way to Esimbiza, get second princess. O yeah, na o. Tinile Makanda. Sarah Lisela, girl. Okay. If first princess Yetu, Usine Tanta Shadu. And in Gazge, Bessenik, a little bit of Bano Pume, or number one, or Bano Petra, Nazi Bazako Ziangago, Wena, Asada, Mashagu, Sakhala Lisela. 
and say, say, that's what I could not tell you that. Wow, 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 wow. Congratulations, Asanda. I'm so happy for you. You better make sure you wear your crown with grace and pride. Don't worry. I'm just keeping it safe until we can hand it over to you. Thank you so much at home viewers for watching and tuning in. Do stay tuned in though for our closing act from two amazing DJs, DJ Kabila and DJ Stibobo. And one last thank you to our sponsors for making this all possible. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it from us at Miss Heritage KZN. This is your host, Baba Law, signing out. See you next year.
Thank you.